Hello America, hello world, hello YouTube, but most of all, hello all you red brick people out there. Uh, this is, uh, I never planned nothing, I just knew that I wanted to say something a day about a little bit of investigating I've been doing, and the direct result of why I'm doing so much investigating in my life today is because of um, the red bricks, the red bricks in the melted world we live in. I've been hunting and hunting and hunting nonstop for evidence of you name it. I've been in all kinds of rabbit holes. And, and anyway, I want to show something to everybody, a red brick community and the, and the red brick thinkers, because that's where everybody's really trying to think, you know. Despite little differences and stuff, at least they're fucking thinking about reality. And pardon my French, some people get offended by cursing, but you study the word F and blah, 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 fornicate under the consent of the king. You had to have your F-U-C-K papers and all kind of different things. So anyway, it's like shit. Ship high in transport. You know, when they carried around shit and ships, it get wet and produce methane gas. And then guy come down with a lantern, and methane gas would blow up, and blah blah boom. And they didn't understand until they figured it out. Oh, that's what's causing it. So they shipped it high so water couldn't get on it, and they wrote on it "ship high and transport," an acronym for that is shit. So there it is. So see, I didn't want to talk about that either, but see how we got distracted. But anyway, I want to show you something here, folks. I used the Star of David to uh, uh, the Solomon Star to. Start figuring out a lot of stuff on our planet with this melted world. And if you look and you get on your grid lines and you kick out the Solomon Star, the Solomon Star covers our whole realm right here that we are seeing. And there's a reflection of what we're not seeing. And that's the bigger Earth. We're stuck in a, um, what you would call a crater, if you will, on our Earth with the ice ring around us and there's a way out folks and Walt Disney knows and I believe I know and and they know I know and it's Antarctica and there's a route we have to follow the yellow brick road but I want to show you some truths just about the moon and the reflection about Antarctica and you guys could do your own thing and I'm just going to show you here and we're going to go to scene three now look there's the moon and I got an overlay on it right now. You see that overlay on there? So that overlay is on there. Now, we go to that image. And I take that overlay. And I move it. Okay? I'm going to move that overlay for you. So you can see now. Okay, now. I'm going to scroll up. And see, I move that overlay. See? Right there. That's where I just put that down. Okay? Now, if you watch this guy, and I'll leave a link to his video, he'll show you where, what crater we're on, on the reflection of the moon, and it's very fascinating. I don't have the answers, but I'm telling you what, this guy's on to something here, and I believe it, it kind of shows that the earth is what the moon's reflecting of our earth. It tells us it's about 10 times bigger than what they're telling us, and they're missing a whole bunch of continents. Antarctica fits right up there, and I'll put Antarctica back up there for you right now, just so you can see. We'll put Antarctica back up there. And it fits right up in there, don't it? Huh? Oh, yeah, it'll fit right there. See, see the, see the part. Everything right there fits right there, like that. Let's see, I just have to make it a little bit bigger and it'll fit right there. See, but different. But right there is the Antarctica on the moon. So there it is, folks. It's a reflection of our bigger Earth. So where are we? Is it perhaps we're here? And in this little section right here? Are we right here? I got this pointer going in a circle. I don't know if you can see that pointer or not. Um, but 
Like you see that overlays right there. I mean, are we here or is, are we right here? See? Anyway, folks, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Right there. What I just showed you. And, uh, and I've been using a lot of things uh, looking into the past in regard to the ley lines all over the United States, all over the world, and how they're interconnected. And go figure, it goes right back to the toroidal field. You know, uh, our flat earth, you know, electromagnetic grid, uh, our earth, the toroidal field, our, our, uh, our own existence and being and fiber, our, the model of our heart and our electrical charge is there before us, but we're so dumbed down we can't see and we think we need other people in charge to cause chaos and order out of chaos. When we need to start thinking, see, that's what we need to do. We need to start thinking because they don't want you to think. Back, Kissinger said back in the past, we don't want thinkers in America, we want workers. Well, I tell you, I beg to differ, we want thinkers. So, we want thinkers, period. So, there it is right there, folks. Can you see? Can you see? Boom, this world exploded. And you see the reflection of this explosion. And when I say explosion, I mean some kind of X factor thing occurred here where well, everything, the grid was melted. And I know there's far greater reach because why would... Uh, all the world leaders, all the world leaders all of a sudden just didn't want to talk about uh, it, didn't want to go there and everything like that, but they build all ships and they all want to go out there and visit where nobody else could go. See? So, there's some truth, folks. Digest it however you want. That's the absolute truth. Just think if I had 55 million a day to, so I could prove to you conclusively that we need to round up that Mickey Mouse Club NASA and uh, lock them up and get reparations get all our funding back and let's go see what's going down in Antarctica folks that's what I say so let's pray for that let's pray that the Mickey Mouse Club crumbles and uh, Walt Disney and all his Nazi NASA Nazis uh, be apprehended and jailed that's my prayer because all liars will have their spot in the lake of fire. And maybe if we catch them and lock them up for it, they'll have a chance to repent. So they don't have to spend the rest of eternity in hell for telling a big ass moon lie and all kind of other lies. So all liars are liars. And we'll have their spot in the lake of fire. That's my thought. Say what you want. But, uh, you know, that's, that's the moon reflector. Or the black hole sun. Huh, huh, huh. Where did it go? Huh. Well, excuse me one second, folks. I, I got a scattered mess on my desk right here. I'm trying to find something here, but you know what they say? If you can't find it, you don't need it. Right? Unless it's your glasses, and sometimes you look and it's right on top of your damn head. <laughs> That's too funny, huh? Anyway, oh, well, we can't find what we're looking for, so we're going to skip that. And uh, check, check. We're having some kind of technical difficulties. Check. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.